We have literally been waiting all day for this information. The Detroit Lions needed to have their 53-man roster in by 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It is now 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you know us Lions fans, we are very impatient when it comes to our team. This is the final step to see that initial 53-man roster and see who's on the team, who's not on the team, what moves could we make, right? So I have not seen this list. I'm going to react in real time with you. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous, kind of nervous. Fan favorites, will they be cut? Let's find out. All right, so reacting to the 53-man roster, who made the cut, who didn't. This is coming from Detroit Lions. Make sure that is 175. All right, here we go. Breaking down the initial 53-man roster. All right, we're going to go down. We're going to go down to quarterbacks. All right, so the quarterbacks, we have two. On the roster, Jared Goff, Teddy Bridgewater, missing the cut, Adrian Martinez, non-football injury, Hendon Hooker, and injured reserve, Nate Sutfeld. We kind of knew that that was going to happen. And again, wishing Nate Sutfeld a speedy recovery because nobody wants to see anyone get hurt. And now for the running back position. Oh my goodness. We kept three on the roster. Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery, and Jason Cabinda missing the cut. Craig Reynolds, Jamar Jefferson waved injured. So he was injured. He got injured during training camp and in the game. Divine Ozigbo and Benny Snell Jr. Injured reserve, Mohamed Ibrahim. Well, this here is a shocker. We usually keep four on the roster. Four on the roster. So what that means to me, I cannot believe we kept Jason Cabenda. Wow. So what that means to me is we, we still got Craig and, and Jamar could come back via the practice squad. The Lions got something up their sleeve. They cut Benny Snell, Devine Ozigbo, Craig Reynolds, and Jamar Jefferson. Something is up. They got something up their sleeve. Something is up their sleeve. All right. So let's continue here. I'm seeing this in real time with you. Oh, my God. Dear wide receiver. Amara St. Brown, Marvin Jones Jr., Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, Antoine Green missing the cut. Dylan Drummond, Chase Coda, waived injury settlement. What? What? Maurice Alexander, unless Maurice is the one that they waived. Trinity Benson, Jason Moore, and Avery Davis, Jamison Williams suspended. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we don't know who's waived and who's cut. Well, no, it tells you waived. Chase Coda, I don't know if Chase is the injury settlement. When did he, or it's got to be Maurice because he was hurt. Oh my goodness, we kept five. So we cut down a, a, a running back. We cut down a wide receiver. Antoine Green made the cut. So right now, oh, Chase, Chase Coda. Wow, the fan favorite so far, the UDFAs are, oh man, zero, zero. Lions got some up their sleeve, man. Somebody out there. We're not rolling with five wide receivers. There's no way. There's no way we're rolling with five wide receivers. Wow. Wow, that's all I can say is wow. I mean, Jamison Williams will come back. He'll be number six, but we got to get at least one more. I say, oh, oh my God. All right, here we go. I'm trying to see these in real time. Tight end, there's no surprise there. It's going to be Sam Laporta, Brock Wright, and James Mitchell missing the cut, Daniel Helm and Daryl Daniels. We knew that already with Zane Zilstra, Shane Zilstra, I'm sorry, being out on injured reserve. Okay, so I'm kind of trying to cue these up while not looking. All right, offensive line, here we go. On the roster, Taylor Decker, Jonah Jackson, Frank Ragnall, Halapaluti Vati Vatai, Panay Sewell, Graham Glasgow, Matt Nelson, and Kobe Sorsdahl. I cannot believe Matt Nelson made the roster, missing the cut. We knew these yesterday. All of these guys were cut yesterday, I think, except Max uh, Percher. Wow, that is a bit of a surprise. The Matt Nelson, he is not that good, but I guess he will have to do for now. We can always, don't forget, this is the initial 53-man roster. All right, the defensive line, Aiden Hutchinson, Charles Harris, Aline McNeil, Isaiah Bugs, John Kaminsky, Josh Paschal, James Houston. See, you're happy now? He made the roster. Broderick, Broderick Martin, Romeo Okwara, Levi Anzurike, Benito Jones, Julian Okwara. Okay. Well, yeah, wow. We kept both of them boys. We, we kept both the, the brothers. 
missing the cut, Christian Covington, Corey Durden, and Chris Smith. Wow. Okay. Didn't, didn't see that one coming. Did not see that coming. Okay, linebackers, Alex Anzalone, Derek Barnes, Jack Campbell, Malcolm Rodriguez, Jalen Reeves, maven Anthony Pittman missing the cut, Trevor Nowoski. We, we kind of already knew that. No surprise there. I think I called that out the other day. Now we're going down to secondary. I see it. It's, it's, I, I can see it out the corner of my eye, but I'm going to react in real time with you. And here we go in three, two, one. We've got Cam Sutton, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Kirby Joseph, Emmanuel Mosley, Jerry Jacobs, Brian Branch, Will Harris. Wow. Tracy Walker, Afitu Melifonwu, Stephen Gilmore. There you go. Khalil Dorsey. I say, oh, oh, my God. Wow. Missing the cut. Starling, Thomas V, Chase Lucas, Kobe Richardson, Brady Breeze, Brandon Joseph, and Scott Nelson. I mean, it's a couple surprises. Right now, Brad Holmes is undefeated with the draft picks. Chase Lucas, if he don't come back around to the practice squad, he will be the one and only person drafted by Dan Kimball and Brad Holmes that have not made the roster. Couple surprises, and I, I'm I, where we at? Okay, specialist Riley Patterson, Jack Fox, Scott Daly. We knew that already. Whoa! All right, so a couple surprises that really pop out to me. Afitu did not think he was going to stick around. Khalil Dorsey, did he really do enough? And this is the guy that hurt Z us, Shane Zilstra. I mean, he shouldn't be penalized for that. And Will Cheekham Harris. Will Cheek Harris. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that one caught me off guard right there. And another one, the wide receivers. We, we're keeping five. We're keeping five. So what is going to happen with the 53-man roster. Who could be. Okay. All right. So let's make some bold predictions. Let's make. Or, or maybe not so bold predictions. All right. So I'm going to call it. 53-man. We're short at wide receiver. But we can make that up somewhere else. Meaning we have five on the. That's crazy. I say. I say. Now. Coda and Drummond are going on a practice squad. That's going to be field tomorrow. And the day after. No wonder this took so long. No wonder it took so long to be reported. It was in, but they wanted to, wow, Levi, way, from, way to come out of nowhere. Like, we had you dead to rights in March. Make the team. Then we have, so Julian, huge surprise. This right here, giant surprise. Benito Jones hanging around. Huge su surprise here. Wow, maybe he, he's trade bait. P perhaps, like Peter Griffin would say, perhaps. Maybe. Then we have another one that caught me kind of off guard. Well, Matt Nelson, I mean, we don't really have too much of a choice. He could be replaced. This, this was no, no surprise here. This right here, I cannot believe. The last time we had five wide receivers was probably Matt Patricia sometimes. St. Brown, Marvin Jones, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, Antoine Green. That probably is the biggest, and, and this right here. Okay, so I'm calling it. Something's up. Something is up. Three wide receivers. Jason Cabinda made the cut. How? Three wide receivers. I'm sorry. Three running backs. We usually keep four on the active roster. Where did we fill that void? The, the, you know what? Defensive backs. Instead of keeping nine, we kept 11. Right? We kept 12 on the, on the O-line with Julian being in there. And we kept 11 in the secondary. And that's, that's where that made up at. Khalil Dorsey. Wow. Fitu, Steven, Khalil all made the team. Couple shockers on here. Couple shockers on here. What are we waiting to see? Mike Evans. Could he be number six? Until Jameson gets back. I don't know. Or we don't do anything. We could go into the season with just these five. That means that Sam Laporta, Jameer Gibbs, more active. That's what that means. Running back. Are we going into the season with three? That means we're going to have a fullback, a burner, and a semi-bruiser. Totally shocked by this. We made up for it, keeping 11 on the secondary. The prediction was nine. And we also kept 
12 on the defensive line. I don't think the, the, the prediction was 12. I think it was like 11 or 10. Wow. Could something be in the works for Romeo? This is not going to be how it is a week from now. We will not have this exact roster going into Kansas City nine days from now. Wow. This was something. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What are you most surprised at? What caught you the most off guard? Wow. I think if, if, if Chase Cota was number six, he was definitely number six. He, he definitely was. Biggest surprises for me, Julian Okwara, three running backs instead of four, and Chase Cota, five wide receivers instead of six. Wow. Detroit Lions, man. Uh, listen, I got more. I got even more respect for Brad Holmes because I know that had to be tough. I know that had to be tough. We we trim, we trimmed, we we took from here. It's like when you get a, a procedure done, take some fat from here to put it there. That's what happened. Matter of fact, if you get a if you get a hair transplant, <laughs> they take hair from the donor part and they put it in the, in the part that's losing. Yeah, trust me, I know. All right. Anyway, there you go. Your initial 53-man roster. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for commenting and subscribing. Keep it up. I will try to answer as many as I can. I got to go digest this now. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Wow. Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, I do not envy you one bit.